is it, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. He himself shall abide in prosperity, and his children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thou to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh God, my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in thee. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for thee. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all his troubles. Have mercy on me, O oh God, according to thy steadfast love. According to thine abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done that which is evil in thy sight, so that thou art justified in thy sentence, and blameless in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward being. Therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness, at the bones which thou hast broken rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners will return to thee. Deliver me from without guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of thy deliverance. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast no delight in sacrifice, were I to give a burnt offering, thou wouldst not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good to Zion, and thy good pleasure rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then wilt thou delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. When the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyous message of thy resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse, and he later he told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting unto the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou, O Lord, was baptized in the Jordan, the worship of the Trinity was made manifest, for the voice of the Father bear witness to thee, and call thee his beloved Son and the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed in the truthfulness of his word. O Christ our God, who hast revealed thyself and hast enlightened in the world, glory to thee. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that hast budded forth the fruit of life. We pray thee, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints, that mercy may be granted to our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord from day to day, and may the God of our salvation prosper us, for he is our God, the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O 
Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. To thy name is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, as we ages of ages. Amen. Today thou hast appeared to the universe, and thy light, O Lord, hath shown on us, who with understanding praise thee. Thou hast come and revealed thyself, O light, unapproachable. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our Lord, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who calleth all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without defilement thou gavest birth to God the Word. Through their troubles we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, give the blessing, Father. Mist, 
of President Fraud did not depart from its marketplace. It is not an enemy who taunts me, then I can bear it. It is not an adversary who deals insolent with me, then I can hide from him. But it is you, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend. We used to hold speak Congress together with a God's house of God and fellowship. Let death come upon them when they go down to Shell alive, let them go away in terror into their graves. But I will call on God, and the Lord will save me. Evening, morning, and noon, I will utter my complaint and moan, and he will hear my voice. He will deliver my soul and save me from the battle that they raise. For many are arrayed against me. God will give near and humble them. He was a throne from a bowl, because they keep no law, do not fear God. My companion stretched out his hand against his friends. He violated his covenant. His speech was smooth as butter, and war was in his heart. His words were softened in oil, and yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, he will sustain you. He will never prevent the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, will cast him down into the lowest pit. Then the blood of treachery shall not live out after days, but I will trust in thee. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty will say to the Lord, My refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowl and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and on his wings you will find refuge. Make faithfulness as his shield and butler. He will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge the most high habitation. No evil shall befall you, a scourge shall come near your tent, for you will give his angels charge of you to guard you in all your ways. On your hand he will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent will trample on your foot. Because he cleaves to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, to ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. When the women of this type of the Lord learn from the angel, the joy is mentioned in thy resurrection. They cast away the ancestral curse, and he blatantly told the apostles, death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting unto the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou, O Lord, was baptized in the Jordan, the worship of the Trinity was made manifest. When the voice of the Father heard witness to thee, and called thee in the love and Son, and the Spirit in the form of God, and from the truth of the Son of His Word, O Christ our God, who has revealed thyself, and has enlightened the world, glory to thee, now and ever and ceases of ages. Amen. As there's no fault in us because of multitude of our sins, and now the word is in the old tokens, intercede with the Son of the Holy Spirit, with the entreaty of the Father, as great power and the favor of the Master, as by his not offendable lady, the fair of us sinners, for he who took upon himself to suffer for our sake, and merciful and strong to save. Let thy tender mercies, O Lord, speedily go before us, for we have become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, for our salvation. Lord, in thy name, O Lord, deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty and holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty and holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty and holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions, Holy One of the Sin of Hell, our firmness, for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to each of the ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Today thou hast appeared to the universe, but thy light, O Lord, has shone on us, who with thy understanding praise thee, Thou hast come and revealed thyself, a light unapproachable. Lord have mercy, 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 Thou in every season and every hour, heaven on earth for worship and glorify, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who loves the just and show mercy upon the sinner, who calls all to the salvation and the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, direct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us all tribulations, evil and distress. Help us thus about with thy holy angels, so that guided and guarded by them, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thy unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without the time of thy goodness, work to God the Word. Truth they have told us, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, give the blessing, Father. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts, and all of all creation, who thy venerable tender mercy has sent down to thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our time, Whose holy cross has torn up the handwriting of our sins, and thereby triumph over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication even from the sinners, and deliver us from every deadly and dark transgression, and from all visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail our flesh with the fear of thee, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. But wound our souls with thy love, and ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and behold thee the eternal life that no man can approach. We may send up unceasing praises of thanksgiving unto thee, O Father without beginning, and together with thy only begotten Son, and thy most holy, good, life giving Spirit, now and ever unto thee, to so obey us all, Amen. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, part of your white presence, and us all things, treasury, blessings, and giver of life. Come, divide in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls of good ones. Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace, good will towards men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. It is time for the Lord to act. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of angels. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For 
every city and countryside and to the faithful dwelling in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace.
art thou, who art God, and unto thee we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Jesus heard that John had been put into prison, and he departed to Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun, the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region of the shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at Church to be again illumined 
to be in the presence of that great light, Jesus Christ, so that our hearts and our minds might be illumined. Before we read the scriptures, we ask for the same thing. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who loves mankind, with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open our minds to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Our life as Christians is one of revelation and illumination. And the greatest revelation that God has given us is that he became a human being, that he came to illumine and enlighten the world, and that means each and every one of us. This particular gospel lesson, this Sunday after Theophany, reminds me of something else, and I'm sure this is kind of a, not probably the best example, but it's the only one I can think of. When I was growing up, <coughs> My parents did not let us watch wrestling, professional wrestling. But one of the things that happens, but we had friends that parents would let them, so we went over their house. So that's the way that worked. But anyway, but I remember one of the big things when there was tag team wrestling, right? Someone would tag the other guy, and then he could come in and kind of finish the job. This particular gospel is almost like this, this tag between John and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. John goes into prison for standing up to Herod because he took Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. And that preaching of John, which we heard in the third chapter of Matthew, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What are the first words that Jesus offers as he begins his public preaching? Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we're all familiar with this term, repent, matani, to make an about face, to be facing in one direction and to make a 180 and go in the other. We see this within our holy church in many of the sacraments, specifically the sacrament of baptism, where the candidate who is being prepared for baptism and holy illumination faces the West, faces the back doors of the church. And the priest asks him, do you renounce Satan and all his angels, all his service and all his pride? And the candidate says, I do renounce him. We do that three times, right? Because God loves the Trinity. Vogel be Troitza, right? God loves the Trinity. Three times. And then the priest asks him, have you renounced Satan? I have renounced Satan. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced Satan. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced Satan. And then the priest asks him to do something rather strange. Well, it seems strange to many people. For us, it's normal. Then breathe and spit on him. Spit on the devil. I was at churches where they used to open the back doors and they would spit outside. It's not our particular custom, but that's the... That's the, I mean, it's a, it is a, a defiance against the evil one facing the West, which is the place of darkness. The sun sets in the West, right? It rises in the East. So we, 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 we turn away from, from darkness, and the candidate is asked to turn around and face the East, to orient themselves, literally, towards Jesus Christ. Do you unite yourself to Christ? I do unite myself to Christ. Three times. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Three times. Do you believe in Him? I believe in Him as King and God. Brothers and sisters, this forms for us, this simple act that happens, it's very profound, but simple act that happens in baptism, forms for us an image and an icon what repentance looks like. To acknowledge and to reject the devil. To reject those sinful passions that lay hold of us. To disdain them, even so much as to spit upon those things. And then to turn towards Christ. It's not enough for us to lose bad habits. Or passions. 
It's to be filled with Christ. What does the scripture say? We can clean the house of our soul. And then seven devils will come and enter into that place. So for us, it's not enough just to flee from those passions and those desires and those sinful things that, that we are all caught in because we're human beings. Because there's no man who has lived and has not sinned. But to continue to orient ourselves to Christ. As the epistle lesson today said so beautifully, to come to the unity of the faith, to the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. This is our goal as Christians. This Sunday after Theophany reminds us of the importance of daily repentance. Daily. Not just daily, hourly. Not just hourly, minute by minute, moment by moment, second by second. Our life as Christians is one of constant repentance. There's a, an analogy that I think it's a, it's a nice one. I know many of you like to keep gardens. Or like the idea of keeping a garden, you know. Some of us have that, like the idea of keeping a garden. Some people like keeping gardens. But at the beginning of the season, most people prepare their beds. I had a square foot garden. It was like very, very neat. I had little strings separating my different spots. And it looked very neat and clean. And put everything down. A couple weeks later, boop, first weed pops up. They got that weed. A couple days later, boop, 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 like 50 weeds pop up and take those out. And if you're not careful, your entire garden that was so neat and clean can just be filled with weeds. And then you can make a massive effort to clear out those weeds. But if you ignore that garden again, it's just going to be filled up again. This, brothers and sisters, is like our spiritual lives. It requires constant attention. That's why our Holy Church invites us into those daily disciplines, prayer, of a weekly cycle of fasting, of reading the Scripture, honoring the Lord's Day, like we're doing today. I know many that couldn't come today because they didn't feel safe. That's fine. You're watching it at home. Right? But honoring the Lord, these are all parts of the pattern that help keep the garden of our hearts clear of the passions. To constantly be in a sense, in a state, and be reminded of the beauty of repentance. For us, repentance is not a drudgery, it's a gift. Because it brings us into contact with our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who came to illumine and enlighten us, so that we might enter the glory of the kingdom the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to
For all of our fathers and brethren in the earth that actually part of this life before us, especially for the newly departed Roberta, Jean, Roberta Presbyter, Michael, Carolyn, John, the mitre of Archbishop Igor, the reader Kent, Matushka, Anne, and Catherine, and the departed servants of God, Ramon, Andre, Deacon, Polycarp, David, Mary, Charlotte, Basil, Joseph, David, Matushka, Joanna, Nicholas, and Paul, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. salvation, visitation for the servants of God, the faithful of our parish, and for all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and sojourn in this community, for the faithful of our community absent from this divine liturgy for a reason worthy of God's blessing, especially those who are worshiping at home, for our college students today, Samhar, Ed and David, Amelia, Grace, Taylor, George, Jacob, Sean, the reader, Vladimir, Philemon, Matthew, Sammy, Selena, Alexander, Timothy, Molly, Ashley, David, Peter, and Sam. For the soldier, Sean, Benjamin, the reader, Vladimir, Michelle, <coughs> Jacob, Gabriel, Stephanie, Matthew, David, Michael, Peter, Sean, Ian, Zachary, and Josiah. <coughs> for the handmaidens of God, Tisha, Brooke, Alba, Chelsea, and the children to be born of them. For our homebound, Michael, Carol, Rita, Nicholas, Nicholas, and Millicent. For those suffering from natural disasters, all victims of sickness, terror, war, violence, religious persecution, and civil strife. And for the servants of God, Jerry, David, Jennifer, Adam, Jessica, Angie, Eli, Sue, Gail, David, Rachel, Mary Ellen, Natalie, Suzanne, Evan, Thomas, Tony, Eta, Matushka, Theodora, John, Loretta, Joseph, Eric, and Hannah, Jean, Tecla, Catherine, the minor and Archpriest, Daniel, and Matushka, Myra, for Joseph, Ruth, Lazarus, Catherine, Sue, Daniel, and Robin. For our seminary families, Deacon John, Montesca, Alexandra, Evan, Lydia, Joshua, and Noah. The reader Thomas and Lydia, Magdalena, and Dominic. For those celebrating this week, Ethan, Abigail, John, Brandon, John, Joshua, Isabel, Zadeh, and Stephen. And for the pardon and remission of their sins. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father and to the Son. And to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Praise the Lord, your catechumens. Let us with faithful pray for the catechumens of the Lord, we have mercy on them, that we may teach them the word of truth, that he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may invite them to his holy Wisdom granted thee, 
are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of age. Oh. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. No one who is bound to desire the pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach our need to serve the absolute glory, for to minister to thee is great and fearful, even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, do thy unspeakable and boundless love for mankind, not to speak of man, without change or alteration, as we become our high priest. And as Master of all, just commit to us the ministry of the Church of the Lord, the sacrifice. For thou alone, Lord our God, who wisdom of those in heaven and on earth, who art born on the throne of the cherubim, who art Lord of the seraphim and king of Israel, who alone are holy and the rest of the saints, therefore I treat thee, who alone are good, and ready to this new God of me, that sinful and improper to serve and cleanse my soul and my heart from an evil conscience and by the power of my Holy Spirit. Enable me to flow with the grace of the priest of the stand before this left of the table, and to perform the sacred mystery of that holy and most pure body and precious blood. For I draw near to thee, and bowing my neck, I implore thee, not even thy face away from me, nor cast me out from among thy children, but make thy sin for the worthy servant for this offer of these gifts. For thou thy suffering, he that offers in this offer, that accepts this distributed, O Christ our God, and unto thee, who send thy glory to thee, thy fathers, not beginning, that all will be for the life of the Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And in sense, we offer to thee, Christ God, for the glory of the Spirit, and bring to the seed upon him, the altar set down the cross of the church, and divine grace, and divine all
Andrew, the most blessed since he caught Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all American Canada, his eminence, the most reverend Barb, Archbishop of Philadelphia, and the Diocese of Eastern Pennsylvania. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages, the President of our country, all those serving in the civil authorities, and the armed forces, May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For those who love us, for those who hate us, for those who have asked us to pray for them, unworthy though we be, especially those that are sick and suffering, in need of God's mercy and help. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For our family members and friends who have departed this life in the hope of the resurrection to eternal life, may the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages.
our midst. He is in our shelter. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us
on earth from have everlasting life. The one he had found and had fulfilled all this sensation for us and denied it when she was given up, but rather gave himself up for the life of the world. So grant that this will be the pure and plain of hands, and for the infinite thanks and blessings and hallelujah.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of age gone. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with Heavenly 
uh, platform uh, to bless up, uh, sign up for house blessings. If for some reason um, the times and the days don't work for you, we can make arrangements uh, for another day and another time as, uh, as, uh, as I'm able. Um, but as I put in my email, I bless homes all year round. So from January 6th to January 5th, stealing something from Father Alexander Addy of Blessed Memory. So um, uh, if you don't feel comfortable having your house blessed at this time, you can always do it later on uh, in the year. Uh, the annual river blessing is Sunday, January 23rd, and it's going to be at 1.30 p.m. 1.30 p.m. It's a half hour uh, earlier. So please make sure that you look at your bulletin for the other uh, events and activities that are happening. Um, we had a, uh, an intimate crowd here today at church, but you know what I think? I went through a lockdown where I was the only one in church. This is full. I'm really thankful. It's amazing what uh, experience can change your perspective on things. So, so grateful for those of you that are here, those of you who are, who are worshiping at home. Uh, we pray that you have safe travels this afternoon if you're going anywhere. And please know that there is coffee next door. Uh, there is coffee prepared next door. So, um, and there's some snacks as well. So coffee and snacks. Um, okay, so may God bless you all. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, our God. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, and hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast permitted me the authority to commune in thy most pure and heavenly gifts. O oh, Master, who lovest thy kind, for our sins yeah. and sky and rise again, and give us us these awesome and my good for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healers of soul and body, the becoming of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual power, the faith of shame, the love of me, the fulfillment of wisdom, the observing of our friends, and the receiving of our love, the divine praise, the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserve by them and thy holiness, may it always return in thy grace, and live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life, and so attain to the everlasting rest, for the voice of those who feast that is unceasing, and the gladness of those who behold the goodness of thy continence is unending. For thou art the true desire and immortal joy. For those who love the oppressed of God, and all creation sings thy praise for us. O oh, Master Christ our God, I thank thee for all things. I thank thee for all the good things that thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life creating mysteries. I pray thee, O gracious lover of men, preserve me under thy protection, beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me. Even to my last breath, to partake worthily with the pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remission of sins and every life be to and all. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, and the giver of all good. To thee we ascribe our way with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into ages of ages. Really, thou hast given me the body. O thou who art of fire, consume me and worthy, consume me not in my creation, but instead enter into my members, my veins, my heart, consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings, make firm my knees and body and look at my five senses, nail me to the fear of thee, always protect, guard and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me understanding and illumination. Show me to be a temple of thy one, thy one spirit, and not to the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion, flee from me as from a fire, as I become a tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless host, thy forewoman, the wise apostles, and thy pure blameless mother, accept their prayers and thy love of my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light. For thou art 
glory of thy sanctification and light of our souls, O good one, and to thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be from my eternal life, thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me a sinner worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory at thy awesome second coming. Through the prayers of thy most pure coming and of all the saints. O most late, holy lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank thee that thou hast permitted me the unworthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and most precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart. Thou who gavest birth to the true light. Enliven me from deep death by sin. Thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving Mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasoning, and enable me, even to my last breath, to receive the sanctification of the most pure mysteries, for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may glorify thee all the days of my life, for thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared for the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from your lips like a beacon, as it light from the universe. It has shown to the world the riches of poverty. It has revealed to us the heights of humility. Teach us by your words, O Father John Chrysostom. Intercede before the word Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having received divine grace from heaven, you teach all men to adore this one God in three persons. O all blessed John Chrysostom, we rightly praise you, for you are our teacher, revealing the things divine. Steadfast protectors of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator. Do not despise the cry of the sinners, but in thy goodness, come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petitions and to intercede for us and 